Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another 60 Seconds Challenge video. Now, I don't know what to call this challenge exactly, but I'll try to explain it as best as I can. So, when I start scavenging, I can only get the items that have family members in that specific room. So, if, if I want an item and a family member is not in there, then I can't grab that item. Too bad, so sad kind of thing, you know? So, I don't know what to call it. You guys in the comment section can get creative and give this challenge your own name. But I'm going to start this and we'll see how we do. Hopefully, we can get rescued. Okay, so for this challenge, I'm not limited to any items. Why the hell are things falling when they're not supposed to fall? Oh my god, these two fuckers are in the same room. Okay, so what can I get? Checkers, suitcase, and that's it? Oh my god, I'm gonna die so fast. Why couldn't anybody be in this room? Look at that. Gas mask, radio, things that I need. A lock? Uh, whatever, man. Okay, we're gonna get Timmy. Get your ass over here, boy. And then we're gonna get the checkerboard. God, shitty items. Oh, at least she's in the bathroom, though. Okay, good. Yes, I'm gonna get all this stuff. Hopefully, they're um, pre-packed items. You know, when you jump down in the shelter, sometimes you get some pre-packed items. Hopefully, I get some good ones. Okay, good. There's water. Yes, I gotta get all that water. Go! Go, baby! We can make it. I think there's, like, two more waters here and a suitcase that I didn't grab. Get that. Okay. And the suitcase takes three spots. So, that's the last thing I'm gonna grab, right? Not missing anything. Okay. That's so unfortunate that Timmy and Dolores were in the same room. That is some horse shit. Would've been cool if they were in this room, man. Or at least this room, the kitchen. Dolores is usually in the kitchen where she belongs. I'm kidding. All you feminists, please back off. Back off. I was just kidding. But let this challenge begin. Hopefully we can get rescued ASAP. And hopefully that there's like some food or water that's pre-packed, please. At least food. Come on. Day one. Yes, I see one can of soup and the Boy Scout book and the lock. Cool. So yeah, we got the lock, Boy Scout book, and one food. So we need to scavenge as soon as possible. Because that's the only strategy I'm going to have to survive. Because I need the radio, I need the map. I don't need the flashlight unless I want pancake. I don't need the med kit unless I go crazy or get hurt. So we'll see how it goes. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Fuck it. We're gonna send Timmy. We don't really care if he gets sick or not. He always has that fuckboy look on his face. He's like, Doo! But whatever. We're gonna send him out there. Ted already has his, like, 5 o'clock shadow. I wish I could get that, man. I can't even grow a beard. I got these little chin pubes right here. So we're gonna send out Timmy. Okay, we're just gonna have him bring the suitcase. There we go. Boom! Good luck, Timmy. Godspeed, my friend. Godspeed. Day four. Everything is shaking. Cans are jumping all over the place. If this had happened after we drank the delicious wine for supper a few weeks back, it would seem perfectly normal. It's either another nuke or a quake. Either way, we need to grab something before everything gets smashed to pieces! Well, we don't have anything, thankfully, because our haul was pretty shitty when we put all the stuff in the shelter. So we don't even need to save the flashlight, radio, or gas mask. I wish we had those things, though. So, anyone hurt? Hopefully not. This entire place is a mess, but nothing seems to be very badly damaged. Yeah, just my pride, because I don't have anything that's worth getting. We'll give them that. And day five, we had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other, while his companion was pretending to ride his horse. Well, they want a map, but we don't have a map, so too bad, so sad, you galloping motherfuckers. Come on, where's Timmy? Oh man, is Timmy not coming back? It's already day seven. It's been one week in the shelter. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. No new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. Well, whoop de freaking do During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It had no address or name on it, but we're pretty sure it's meant for us. Should we open it? Yes! Because look how empty the shelter looks. It's so sad in here. There's nothing, like, decorative about it. Aw, oh, Teddy. Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. It was an innocent-looking bottle of water, so we took a sip. We thought we got lucky, but it was all a lie! Either that water was a radiator or was some kind of biological weapon. It made us all feel pretty sick. I'm pretty sure someone took a piss in that bottle, put it in a suitcase, knocked on your door, and laughed their ass off as they ran away. Okay, it was only one day after that suitcase incident, and now there's another suitcase. So is someone playing a prank on us, or is this one gonna be legit? Come on, be too legit to quit, suitcase. Come on. And where the hell is Timmy? It's been too long. Is it another prank? No, one can of food. Okay, cool. 
But where the hell is Timmy? Is there anything regarding him? Nope. Okay, one more day I'm gonna give them some water and some soup. Come on, Timmy. Yes! Timmy's back. Yay! Dang! Look at that! He brought a lot of food! Oh my god, Timmy, I love you! Four cans of food! Yes, baby! Oh, yeah, give me some tongue, Timmy. Alright, it's day 10. Time for some what's up? Some soup! And ring, ring, there we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again. When suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside, we figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? Yes, Mary Jane, go answer that. She seems like a very sociable person. I mean, just look at her face. I mean, look at that. That screams, I'm popular, I'm social, I can answer a phone and handle my own business. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivor from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging info when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Mary Jane seems fine. Timmy should eat something. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood. Ted is still sick. Damn, Ted. Hopefully you get over it soon. I gotta scavenge because I am totally fucked if I don't get any more water food or a med kit. We were sure we looked through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something all of us missed. A seed! A plant seed! We should plant it to see what happens, but we need a bottle of water for that. Should we use it? Hell no. I need that bottle of water. We barely have any water as it is, Mary Jane. Don't be selfish with your plant needs. Okay, it's time to send somebody outside. I will send out Dolores and her resting bitch face. Hopefully the team gingers bring back something good back to back. Because Timmy brought something good. He brought back four cans of soup and some playing cards. Hopefully Dolores at least brings back more water or a med kit or just one of the two. Day 15, they need some water and some soup. We are running out of water. Ted doesn't look like he's getting any better. I really hope that Dolores can come through, be the real MVP, guys. Do you guys know what it means to be the real MVP? It means to pull something out of your ass and just be clutch and bring back like a shitload of good items. Because that's happened before in these playthroughs. Timmy's brought back something good. Mary Jane has brought back something good. I don't think Dolores ever brought something. Oh, actually, no, I'm lying. She has brought something good. She really has. And even Pancake. I remember he was so clutch with like a med kit before when everybody was about to die. That shit was amazing. Yes, there she is. Oh, now you're sick too. Parents are both sick. What the freaking do? Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. We're not alone outside the shelter. At first, it seemed like the creature stalking us was about to get itself into a tasty dinner. To our relief, it turned out to be a friendly monkey. It joined our expedition. Wait, wait, what? A monkey? To our relief, it turned out to be a friendly monkey? It joined our expedition? Where? Where's the monkey? I mean, if it's Mary Jane, that's not very nice to talk about her like that, but... Where's the monkey? That would be cool if a monkey was down here in the shelter with us. But the monkey companion ran away, only to come back moments later carrying a can of food. It couldn't open it himself, but it was happy to share it with us. Cool. At one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bottles of booze lying next to them. Okay, so the monkey actually helped us get some food and water. That's cool. And... The monkey isn't referred to again. Wow. Alright. So three of the four family members need a med kit. And we have no more monkey. So I'm gonna send out somebody to go. And we never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't. But when we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they are huge and will probably attack us when they get the chance. Use the Boy Scout book. That's cool. Maybe I just haven't read that as much, but I didn't know that there was a monkey that can help you. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that's not a new feature. Maybe that's my first time reading it though. So we took care of the roaches, that's good. And it's day 20, so we gotta give them that. And we need to make a choice for today's expedition. Ted, you are gonna be the lucky man to go scavenge. Even though you're sick, if you die, then it's whatever because you're already sick. But Dolores needs to stay with the kids because one thing I don't like about the game that much is the fact that you need at least one person to survive. Like, one adult to be able to keep going. The kids can't handle themselves if the parents are dead. I really wish they made an update to this game and took that feature out. But it's whatever. I mean, it makes it more challenging, I guess. But just having one adult in there doesn't really make that much sense when there's actually two living beings, like Timmy and uh, Mary Jane, in the shelter. 
Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful, red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary type who was probably her guard. She told us she was a traitor and eagerly showed us the items she'd brought along. She offers a flashlight for a med kit. She offers a radio for a suitcase. She offers ammo for the poison. And she offers a gun for cards. Oh, fuck yeah. You do that trade 10 times out of 10. We managed to work out a deal. The woman also gave us some tips about surviving in the wasteland, but her advice seemed pretty useless. We already know that radiation is dangerous and that hitting a rat with a stick will eventually kill it. We thanked her and said our goodbyes. Mary Jane could use a little food. We can't leave Timmy without water for long. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Man, look at all these guys. They look like absolute shit. I don't think I'm surviving this, but you never know. Crazier things have happened in these 60 second challenges. Oh my God, really? Timmy, Ted has been outside for far too long and he still hasn't returned. We fear he isn't coming back. Timmy was very sick and there was nothing we could have done to make it better. He understood it and probably decided he's better off far away from such irresponsible parents. He left and never returned. You gotta be kidding me, dude. You gotta be shitting my asshole dry right now. What the fuck? Timmy and Ted left in the same day. That's a double whammy. The note we found on our door today was a real surprise to us all. It's not signed, but it says that whoever wrote it has been observing us for a while and believes we're the right kind of people. They instruct us to send a single unarmed representative to a meeting today at midnight to find out more. Should we send someone? No! What the fuck? I never got this note before! This is interesting! A midnight meeting and I can't send anybody? Damn, hopefully we can do it sometime in the future. I have to say no. I don't think I've ever gotten that before. Man, how come I miss out on all the good shit? We might be passing up on a big opportunity here, but we're gonna take our chances with the army instead. Our brave soldiers are the only ones that can be trusted in this wretched world now. Plus, we don't want to risk our lives in case this is a trap. Mary Jane could use food, Dolores would really love to eat something. I would really love to give you guys more stuff, but we're running out of food and water. And none of you guys can go out, so we're pretty much capital F FUCKED! Day 29. Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss. So, when a single brick fell out from the wall revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole out and see what the source of that smell is. Yeah, Mary Jane, close your legs! We don't want to smell that shit anymore! I'm kidding, I really roast on Mary Jane way too much. She gets a lot of crap, but sometimes she's the real MVP. Mary Jane is the real MVP. We looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated or sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. So we got one can of soup, and it's day 30. Aw oh, man, they're not gonna last more than 40 till day 40 if we don't have if we don't go outside right now. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. Okay, smack that bitch up. Some of us are keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most able and responsible person for the quest to gather more supplies. Yes, Mary Jane can go. Thank you, Mary Jizzle. MJ, she's the real MJ. Fuck Michael Jordan. It's Mary Jane. That's the initials for that. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Okay, it's just me and you, Dolores. We could do this. We felt that we should do something about our interior decoration. The feng shui is really off in our fallout shelter. While we were moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? There's only one way to find out. Oh no, it might be something good. Let's take the gun, and hopefully Dolores does not end up killing herself. THE END?! WHAT?! What the hell?! We figured the best way to be sure nothing and no one jumps us inside the mysterious room was to bash the door open and start firing. When the smoke was gone, we were able to assess our operation. The room was empty, we hit nothing but the walls, and we barely dodged a one ricochet gone bad. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. The padlock in our shelter finally came in handy. We used it to secure our home. When leaving for an expedition, and when we came back, we found signs of an attempted break-in. The padlock is too damaged to be used again, but at least our safe house is, well, safe. And Mary Jane died how? Oh my god, she brought back a map too. You gotta be kidding me. Dolores' sickness progressed quickly, coughing fever, chest pains. 
She didn't recover. We didn't make it. Fuck you, Dolores! You're so selfish! How can you be coughing and have a fever and chest pains at a time like this? Screw you, Dolores! We're gonna try that one more time. Hopefully, the family members are all spread out in different rooms where I can get good items. Let's do it! Okay, there we go. Timmy is in a good room. Checkerboard, flashlight, padlock. Okay, not bad. Let's see where everybody else is. Dolores. Oh, yeah, med kit. Yes! Yes! Okay, this is gonna be a good one. I have a good feeling about this. I feel it in my bones. Oh, no. That one requires two hands. Come on. I can pick that med kit up with one hand. I could probably pick it up with my hard ass dick. Let's get Timmy. Flashlight. Padlock. And I'll come back for you, checkerboard, even though I don't really need you. Okay, we're gonna get that checkerboard. Just make sure we get all the items that are in all the corresponding rooms. And where's Mary Jane at? Mary Jane? Michael Jordan Jane? Where is she? Oh, there she is in the kitchen, of course! Of course you're in the kitchen, Mary Jane. Of course you are. How many cans of food are in here? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Daddy likes this. Oh, I gotta be faster. Oh, shit! Go, 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 Jane, go, go! Oh, come on. Get that! Fuck, there's a water. Get the water, get the water, get the water. Go, 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 go! Yes! Kobe, motherfuckers! All right. The second run of this challenge begins. Yeah, that looks better. Way better than the first time. And we got a map. Booyah! Yeah! So water and food every five days, but holy shit, we only have two bottles of water. So we gotta scavenge real quick. I'm not even kidding. Like, as soon as day two hits, which is right now, I'm gonna prepare them to scavenge and I'm gonna send out somebody. I'm gonna send out Mary Jane. Just because, you know, I always send out Timmy first, but... This time, we're gonna switch it up. Maybe there'll be a good luck charm. Our favorite radio stations stopped broadcasting. When we tried other frequencies, we found nothing but static. Are all the stations gone? Maybe we should tinker with our radio to increase its range. Hell no, man. Don't tinker with the radio. Go tinker with your balls or something if you want to tinker with something. We're sure they are experiencing technical issues. Yes, that's it. Everything will be just fine. Everyone has to drink sometime, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? You can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Water is all Dolores wants. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. That's what Dolores said. Okay, we're gonna send out Mary Jane real quick. Hopefully she does good. We are praying for you, Mary Jane. Please bring back something good. I just wanna be rescued this time. I am so tired of all these the end screens and just having like a dead body in the shelter. I'm so tired of that shit. I just want a good ending. I've had more bad endings than good endings, and that's just not how Jay from the Cub Scouts rolls. I don't roll like that, okay? I am a winner. I play to win. I don't play for these, oh, we didn't make it. Oh, shit, it's day five. See? I talk too damn much. I had to give them water and food. We feel that we should do something about our interior decoration. The feng shui is really off in the follow shelter. While we were moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? There's only one way to find out. No, there are two ways to find out. Either open it and get sick, or you say hell no and mind your own damn business. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do so nobody is sick. Because I opened that door the last time and I got sick. Some things are better left untouched and unknown. Whatever's behind that door will have to stay there. We also stacked some furniture against it just to be sure nothing and no one comes through them. Where the hell did you get that extra furniture? I want to know where you got that. Okay, it's day seven. I didn't have any items for them to get clean. Like, I didn't have the ammo, gas mask, or the bug spray. So, Timmy got sick, Dolores got sick, and Ted is sick. whoop the freaking do Okay, we are going to give Ted the med kit because he is the person that we need to save. Well, him or Dolores, but I prefer to save Ted. He just seems like a chill, swell guy. Mary Jane's back, and she's sick too. Yeah! Fun for the whole family! Why don't we all get sick? It's like Oprah! You get sick! You get sick! You get sick! We all get sick! Okay, I'm sorry guys. I need to apologize. I didn't mean to go crazy like that. But let's just see what Mary Jane brought us back. She brought back ammo. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's just the way it goes. I'm not gonna be mad. I'm not mad at that, okay? Go do your thing, girl. You wanna bring back just one ammo and nothing else? You go do your thing. You go ahead and be a bad self. Remember that time Mary Jane went out to scavenge supplies? Oh yeah, just yesterday, when she got back, she had a wound on her forearm. Nothing serious, she claimed, but it looked like something had bitten her. Now that injury is looking much worse. We fear it may be infected. We have to clean it up. Yeah, let's use the axe to clean it up. That'll do it. Just chop her arm off. You know what, she's so dumb, why don't you just chop her head off? Oh, that's actually pretty cool though. She has a, a slinger on her arm and a cast. Well, a wannabe cast. That's cool, I've never seen her look like that before. Oh wait, 
Okay, good. It went away. Mary Jane got the wrong idea when we brandished the axe. She tried to limp out of the bunker. Fortunately, she was too slow, and we were able to explain our intentions before she ran off. Heating the axe's blade allowed us to clean the wound and stop it from festering. Now it's up to her immune system to fight off the infection. We had to break our axe to do it, but she's looking better today, so we are hopeful it was worth it. Ouch, the axe slipped just a bit, but that must have hurt. Okay, cool. Mary Jane's hungry. Timmy's in terrible shape. Dolores will not survive without water. Ted has one foot in the grave. One of you guys was asking me, what does one foot in the grave mean? And that basically means they're on the brink of death, like they're about to die. So that's what it, uh, one foot in the grave means. Enough sitting around. It's time to visit the surface and look for some additional supplies. Let's send Timmy. Just because. I mean, he's sick. It's like a... It's not a double-edged sword if he goes out because he either brings back stuff or he never comes back anyway and he's sick, so... He's gonna die anyway, so... Might as well send him out. And it's day 10, so we gotta give them some of the stuff. There we go. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers would come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Yes. Let's try to get in contact with the military. Even though I really prefer getting saved by the twins, because I feel like that's a way cooler way of rescuing. Um, you have to help them build their little settlement, and then they come and bring you to the settlement, and that's how you get rescued. We knew it! The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. Yay! I'm pretty sure they will keep us waiting long. We are closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins at the local retirement home. Say no more! Old people with food and water, I will stab that ass! Not in real life though, don't get me wrong, I would not do that. I would give them all my love and affection in real life, but this is a game. So you know, you might as well chop up some old people and get a gas mask and uh, that's it? We killed old people for a gas mask? What is that? What was that, a rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. Ah, uh, whatever. Where's Timmy at? Did he bring back anything good? Is he gonna bring back anything good? So many questions, so little answers. What's going on here? He's been gone for a while now. And the rodent won. He took one of our cans of soup. Thanks, bastard. The wasteland is full of surprises. Like this man on the other side of our door, knocking and claiming that he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammo. Shall we trade? Well, it's not like we're going to use the ammo for anything good, so we might as well give it to him. I think I've done this before. Doesn't he usually give you water? Hopefully he does. What did he give us? One can of soup? Really? I didn't need that. Ugh. Okay, we've got one more day to give them water. I have to give it to Ted because, look, there's barely any water left. That's a fourth of the water. Ugh. And Timmy obviously died because I'm able to scavenge again. Let's see. Timmy can sneak like a secret agent man, but that might not be enough to avoid the bands of raiders camped near our shelter. We can probably assume he isn't coming back. Ah, oh, great. Okay, so Timmy is dead, and I only have a fourth of the water, so that means two out of the three remaining family members is gonna die, but I have an idea, so hopefully this works. I'm gonna prepare to scavenge, and it says, hear that, noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner, the one that's been locked tight ever since we got to the shelter. You know what? YOLO, bitches, because we really don't have a choice. We're gonna die anyway. Uh, I don't really see anything new. A med kit! Yes! Okay, cool. I'm gonna save it. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give Ted water, and then Mary Jane's gonna die. I mean, sorry, Mary Jane. We're gonna send out Dolores. And she's gonna come back, and she won't die from starvation or dehydration because, you know, she's gonna be out there. I think it's like a thing in the game that wasn't added or something, but she won't die. She'll, you know, eventually come back with stuff. Hopefully she does, because we only have five days left, or Ted is done, son. So, yeah, Mary Jane left, and hopefully Dolores comes back. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in hours. None at all. We can't just stare and stare at the walls. So we need to do something about this. I agree. Okay, now all we can do, guys, is just hope that Dolores comes back before day 20. Before day 20, or it's game over. Ah, oh, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Ted is hungry. Aren't we all, Ted? You know what? I might as well give it to you. These are probably your last days. You're like on death row. Your days are numbered, son. Okay, guys, it is the end of day 19. 
hopefully Dolores comes back right here, right here. No! Damn! Come on, Dolores! Oh, dude, Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink soon. No! No, come on, dude. Drink your own piss or something! What are you doing? Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly, and instead, we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turns out there is something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we're alive somewhere in the area. Okay, he's gonna leave that sign that he's alive, and then he's gonna die. Hopefully, Dolores comes back. The end. Great. Quick glance, the map gave us all the info we need. We left them a message in a bottle. We don't think Dolores is coming back from the surface. It's been too long. Too many days without water took their toll. Ted died of dehydration. Of all places we could have perished, this is probably the best one, or maybe not. We spent 22 days in the shelter. Okay, so there is the end of that challenge. I honestly feel like you have to get pretty lucky. You know, you have to have the family members in certain rooms where there's a lot of good stuff. That second run though was actually pretty good. Just unfortunate that everyone decided to get sick at the same time. Like, they just all were like in agreement like, hey, let's get sick together and just die and just piss Jay off. Because if they did, if that was their goal, then mission accomplished, family. But if you guys have any more challenge recommendations for this 60 seconds playthrough, please leave them in the comments below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>